Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and on this episode we wanted to test our skills against a real race car driver. So that's what we're going to show you today. The real race car driver is David Perrell. If you've not seen him already on YouTube, go and check him out. His link's in the description. Thoroughly nice guy, not up himself whatsoever. If he's got time to reply to you, he normally does. Uh, but he's on my friends list on my PSN. So I thought, because he is quick on GT Sport as well, obviously, I wanted to see if I could beat one of his times that he'd set on the daily races, which is race A at Autopolis, I think it's called, uh, on a Scirocco. And I thought, well, I can double it up. If I, if I beat his time, then it would also make a really good uh, track guide, which is probably what he's already done, because I, I could see that he was filming the other day. Um, so it'll be true two track guides one with him and one with me going quicker so that's what we're planning to do pardon me so let's get to it I'm gonna go to the replays and we're gonna show you me smashing his time um, in a true GT realm fashion on my best 007 account um, and the reason why I use this account is because I've got all the cars and all the money on that one. I'm trying to build up the GT Realm one because I've had to start from scratch. So I've not got the cars and stuff or the money. So I need to build the money up and do all that palaver. If you want to see me doing anything in Gran Turismo regarding that type of stuff, because it's a new account, I can record it, but I just didn't think you'd be into it. So, But if you are, leave a comment in the comments section and I'll do some vids on it and all that jazz. So without further ado, let's get to the replays and uh, I'll show you how it went. Obviously it went well, but how it went and how long it took me to actually get the time beaten that David Perrell set. So let's go. Okay, so as you can see, this is the very first lap. So the objective for this is to just feel how the car feels, where I can put my foot down, where I can't, where the braking markers are how accurate they are and how accurately they're placed for this particular car and track. So that's the plan. So, down the first corner, double cones, which means a braking zone. Turning it in, seeing where we've got grip, where we haven't. The one thing with this car in particular, because it's, so, it's front wheel drive and it's very powerful. So the turning lock you've got before you can add power is very minimal now on the g29 wheel i can't go any more than either quarter two or quarter past on the steering wheel and start adding throttle because it just goes straight on doesn't matter and <clears throat> you can't power throttle it or nothing once you're over the quarter two and quarter past on the wheel you're basically just going to go straight on and you're going to scrub time miss the apexes it's not a not a good look and it doesn't sound good. So basically that's the top tip for today with this track is that to not try and exceed the quarter two and quarter past positions on the steering wheel. This is the corner that I know David Perrell has trouble with. He has trouble entering and exiting this one. He tends to um, either go in too hot or he goes in too slow. I don't know why, it's, it's, it's a bit of a nemesis for him. But you know, we all have them. So we'll just get this lap out of the way. So now we know what we're feeling. See what the time is. See what the time that comes up is. As we belt round it. And then we'll uh, start on the second lap. I won't do any more um, outside shots now. We'll just in, in the view. Seeing what gears we've got on. And blah de -blah. So we're going to break just after the marker here, now, and then we're going down to third gear, turn in and fettle the throttle until we're comfortable to get full throttle on. And we're going to rev it out of fourth gear into fifth, and then we're going to back down to fourth gear, and then just trail brake in, back on the throttle as soon as we can, keeping it close to these apexes. So we'll just fettle the throttle around, down to second gear for this one. Come off the brake as soon as you can and fettle the throttle around and pull third gear as soon as you can. As soon as you can. 
then into fourth gear and then we want to be turning it in part throttle until we can get full throttle on on the exit and then we're up to the really tricky left hander that we're going to go down to second gear turn in use as much of the curb as we can and pull third gear you want to pull third gear as fast as you can there otherwise you end up just spinning in second and losing loads of time this is david perrell's nemesis corner again just drop a gear send her in fettle the throttle around on the apex until we can get it full on and then we're going to go down to third gear to keep it nice and tight here don't want to be going too far out wide. Smash on the throttle, pull forth as quick as you can. Come off it slightly just so we can get it turned in. And then this is a very, you gotta be very patient with this final corner here before we can get back on the power. And then we're gonna end up coming across the line and see what our time is. So we've scored a 152.7 on the second on the third lap i'm oh, sorry on the second lap this is the third lap so we're breaking again down to third trail break in a little back on the power as soon as we can stretch out the gears and then we're going to come down to fourth again trail break in as we go to turn get the power on as soon as we can keep it close to these twin apexes here back on the power and then just down to second gear off the, off the uh, brake back onto the throttle into third as quick as you can stretch the gears out stay in fourth gear and just cruise it around here as tight as you can back on the power again as soon as possible it's all about getting on the power as soon as you can and then to the tricky second gear left hander and again we're going to try and use all the curb as much as we can get into third as soon as we can no wheel spin that's what we want from out of that corner no wheel spin we're going to go to fifth and drop down to fourth turn into that cone back on the power again keep it close to the apex here so just come off the gas let it roll in and then we want to get down to third gear and not go wide too much so keep it close Try not to touch the grass as we did last time. Up to fourth gear, off and back on. And then for the final corner, we're just gonna, a little bit of trail braking and then a little bit of throttle till it's ready to put full gas on. Have a good exit. Stretch the gears out as far as you can. And there we go, 152.596 which was a win for us because David Perro got a 152.613. So let's go back to the little studio there and uh, discuss. So now we're back in our little studio. We did it, we did it. We've beaten a real race car driver on a qualifying time only. I've never raced him. He's never online long enough for me to um, actually have a race with him because he's in and out of the country like a fiddler's elbow with his actual real racing so, you know some of us have got really good jobs like david but you know i'm only jealous that's all that is anyway it's good to see that we're up there speed wise with david super gt kai 25 we're all we're up there with the qualifying time so i'm quite pleased with that I think for a 45 year old, I think I'm holding it up for the old fogies. So yes, so that's the end of this video. Oh, hang on. You're probably thinking, yeah, but Cliff, he's not sure there's any proof. So here's the proof. See, we've beaten him. We're, we, he's at the top of my list, but we've gone quicker. So there's the proof, I wasn't lying. So until next time, uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for any future videos. If you're interested in supporting the channel in any particular way, the links are in the description. I'm also affiliated to um, Amazon for some bits and bobs, which is the equipment that I use basically. So if you're interested in buying any of those, um, links are in the description. You can go and uh, purchase them from Mr. Amazon and I'd get a small fee. Um, other than that, yeah.
keep it safe don't do anything naughty uh, don't eat the wrong foods as I've said before because you'll get unhealthy and don't drink too much because if you drink too much you'll be really rubbish in the game because you'll get done for uh, drink digital driving so until next time peace out love you all bye for now